Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Amazon. We're resuming right where we left off at the end of last episode with our uh, newly found friends, the web footed giraffes. And they've taken us to this tree house here. Um, I'm a little confused because I thought from the uh, the the, con the context of the uh, the journal. That oh, we still got the little bag. That's cool. Context of the journal that we've been reading that um, the only thing to do really was to saddle a giraffe in the the marshlands, and then the next area we need to get to is the volcano, which I don't know, I don't know about you, but I can't see around here anywhere. So I mean. I, since having finished last episode, what I've been hoping is that I'm going to climb up this tree, as far as I uh, am allowed to, and then I'm hoping at the top uh, there's going to be a wingsuit for me, and I'm just going to uh, glide off over to the volcano, because I think that would delight me no end. But, um, yeah, fingers crossed, I suppose. Uh... Yeah, I think. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for... Oh, there they are. They're very patient. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out for any interactable things. Okay, that seems to go off into either the water or the mist. Um, can I go any... No? Right, so... There's de back down. This seems to be the platform again. No body. I have no body. Uh, the platform at the topmost part of this structure. Uh, I'm not seeing a wing suit, which is oh, I can just go on. I'm just on the ropes. Oh, it's a rope bridge. I see. Right, I'm, I'm on a rope bridge. Oh, okay. I, I like the. Uh, the muting of the sound when I'm in this facing this direction. Ah, okay. I'm just heading out. This is, I mean, this is quite the construction, isn't it? Chapter seven. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> what a climax. Okay, let's go bring the restitution of these white birds and um, see off the, uh, the degenerate birds that we found out about last time. Um, it has, oh, oh, okay, we're kind of backward, oh, we can't go, you can never go back. Um, it has not escaped my notice that this um, game is positioning the, the desirable birds as the white ones and the corrupted ones as the black ones. I think that's uh, some some subtext there that perhaps the uh, someone in a creative position uh, should have perhaps thought about, but, um, okay. This is, oh yes, more sophisticated bridge. Um, I, I mean, I'm loving the atmosphere of this. This is quite ominous. I'm, I'm hoping it might get a bit sulfurous as well. And I'm, I am wondering when I'm gonna get my wingsuit because if I don't get a wingsuit, I'm gonna be a bit dischuffed. Okay, I think at the moment this is just, I'm, I don't know, Potentially, we've, we're out of puzzles. We may just need to go... Oh, there's a temple, though. We may just need to go to a place and put an egg there. I think... It may just be... Because there's, some, there's some percussion in the... Um, mixed in with the ambient soundtrack. I'm... I wonder if it's just a coincidence, but every time I... Um, move from screen to screen, There's it's like a, um, a drum hit, um, but it may just be the coincidence that they um, are kind of uh, at irregular intervals throughout the ambience. Um, right, I can go in this door. Oh, it's a living person. Oh, I need to... Uh, I'm trying to work out... They look like they're wearing a uniform. And then we've got, there might be skeletal, or wearing a mask of some kind. Um, I'm a little worried, but let's go for us. Uh, power. <laughs> no power. Do you really know what power is? No, of course not. Few people do. 
Women who are so worn out and tired they no longer even care to think. Yet they tremble with fear in your arms. Because power is always fear. The fear of the one that possesses it, who risks losing it, and who then fears the one who is the victim of it, like a dog being beaten, and then growing old. <laughs> you have come instead of Valenbois, haven't you? Oh, the poor fool. The white bird and all that. <laughs> The enemy of power, my friend, is not liberty, not democracy, and all that miserable nonsense. The enemy of power is the dream. The dream! But you'll never understand that. I mean a real dream, not those common, mind-dulling fairy tales that anesthetize people while you keep them under your heel. I have always been wary of those white birds. All that mythology. I wanted Amazon to be a great modern nation, a country that believes in progress, that believes in science and technology. But these confounded Amazonians revel in that sappy romantic legend, that legend of white birds. I wanted to make the people, I wanted them to be happy, despite their wishes. I won't let you go any further. <laughs> Has he just cocked it? Oh, I have your medals. Right, I, you know what? I wasn't expecting to see um, Alvarez here. Um, uh, and <laughs> I don't, I'm not quite sure why he was here. Maybe news of someone in Aeroflot had reached him? But I'd expect him to be sort of um, swaddled up in his citadel. His um, Alvarezopolis. Uh, right, well, I've got medals and an egg. Um, so I suppose um, with all the symbolic flies and things, um, he was definitely supposed to look like a dissipated despot who'd. Um, yeah, who, with, uh, to whom we shouldn't lend too much credence, I don't think. And then I, I can't. Okay, turn a wheel. Oh, uh, uh, what if we go outside? Can you go? Okay, that's confusing. If I go, oh, have we opened a secret? Oh, we have. We've opened a secret. This is very sophisticated. So this this must all predate Valenbois, right? So they've got a like a sophisticated foundry op operation. Um, so they had all this technology. So they weren't exactly too. Um, too shy an innovation, were they? It's a uh, oh, do we need some metal? I like this the symbolic. That the movie went off a bit quick. Um, I like the the symbolism of uh, transforming this sort of um, this fake sense of importance symbolised by the uh, the medals. Um, this I guess arrogance um, and turn that into something for the benefit of the the ecosystem of the country. That that seems to. Um, work nicely in a, in a story sense. Try to work out where we can go around here and why we can go around here. Sometimes there's lots of unnecessary. Um... Oh, this looks like a puzzle. Oh gosh, I can do a thing there, I can put a key in there. Great. Oh. I mean, that's. Okay. I think we need to work out what the solution to that is, don't we? Um, 
All right, I'll come back to that. The key's in there though. So we we saw. Right, I can't I can't see a thing, game. Right, that was where we can we'd come from. Um, is that is this little thing of light supposed to be anything? I don't think it is. I'm not quite sure why the wind is so strong. Right, I'm guessing the key and the mechanism it controls is something like um, the takeoff angle for our uh, our Leonardo da Vinci flying machine type thing. I don't, yeah, I don't think any of this this part of the room does anything. That's just an empty alcove. Um, I'll double check, but uh, I'm gonna turn it down. The the um, I'm definitely gonna check this wind volume on the uh, on the recording before I edit a final version of this because it's probably gonna come up as very loud. Right, so then we can go up here and then towards this. Right, towards this. Okay, so in theory, yes, we can take off, but uh, let's go solve this puzzle first. Because I think, I mean, I, I don't think anything bad can happen, um, realistically, but uh, we want to get to where we need to go. Right, can I? Uh, I can look at this now. Okay, I'll see you on uh, a relevant page. Okay, so this is the. Look at that picture again. This is the takeoff temple, clearly, as, as described here. Chain of volcanoes seen from the temple. Okay. Um, 18th of June 1933. Hence. No, here I am finally, after several months of adventure. At the end of my journey. Until now, I have seen only those confounded little black birds, and I have been able to observe that they lay eggs that are similar in every respect to the one I saw in the Ovovolajo village. These birds are very prolific. I have counted up to ten birds hatching from the same egg. What? That's, I mean, that's just not how, that's not how eggs work, but uh, on the other hand, their existence is precarious. They fly badly and generally display a salient degeneration, which would seem to confirm the expertise of the Ovovolajo priests in embryonic surgery. I saw them this morning. They were there. Right before me. They glided over the crater for a long while and then, imperceptibly, with the heat, oh, with the heat, if the day, they flew higher until they weren't around noon, but a speck in the sky. I'm not sure that quite worked. Albus Alba. Oh, where's the clue about what? How I need to set this? How? Well, let's save. Can we save here? Yeah. So I saved, and then uh, how many positions are there? There's one. Oh. Oh, I can't do anything. That's interesting. It kind of jiggled and then reset. So if I go back into the alcove, can I now? Manipulate it? I can't. So either that's a bug, or we've somehow solved the puzzle. Um. Let's go see if we can take off. Um, if there, I mean, if there is like a failure death screen, that'd be hilarious. Okay, I'm, I think I'm flying. Oh, oh, oh! 
I'm not quite sure what I'm expecting to do when I get to the other end. A crash is the answer. And the eggs are alright. I hope it's on my back. Oh. What? Yeah. Okay. I see. Right, so we, we yeah. We mullered that thing. We've still got the egg. I mean, I don't, I'm not, this is kind of end of Lord of the Rings stuff, isn't it? I'm not expecting there to be too much to this area, really. Um, uh, I mean, there's a couple of spurs. Do we need to go off a spur? I'm not quite sure what kind of environment would be good for hatching it. Uh, let's try over here. Is it going to be like a little comfy nest I can sit it in? I mean that, from here, that looks like that's vaguely nest-like. Is that an illusion? Can I go? No, I can't. Again, I can't go on that spur. Okay. Well, let's continue going around this way as I've committed to that. Um, right, can't really do anything there. Uh, there's this spur here. I mean, apart from like cooling. Oh, there's a thing here. Okay, there was some kind of bird statuary. So what I do with that, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, is there a little thing there? No, that's just texture, okay. I mean, we're right on a thing here. I haven't found... Oh, that looks like something. Oh, this is something. This is... Okay, yeah, sure. This is all gone a bit... Indiana Jones now, isn't it? Um, what is this structure? Can I interact with this? It's egg shaped, it's like a seat, but egg oh, do I need to put the egg here? Can I interact with this? Yes, apparently. Let's put the egg here. Uh, egg? Oh! It still had its carry bars on from when I. Now this is incredibly sophisticated machinery, so I'm not sure what um, Okay, I mean, uh, is this it? Is this the game? Have we won the game? Take the egg away? Oh, oh okay What, uh, what did that achieve? One wonders. Uh, any bugs on the floor that I need to pick up? No. What, uh, okay. I think that was all we needed to do there. So that was what that little cave was. So somewhere else there's going to be something that we can do with an egg and a birdie. But we've been to all of these screens now, I think. So I'm not... Oh, hang on. We haven't been to this bit. Oh, okay. Um, well, there's like a general patch there. Well, let's put the egg there. Great, and then use the bird with it. I was not expecting that. never stop flying. They are born, they mate, and they die in the hot rising fumes of the volcanoes. 
Their giant wings continue growing throughout their lives. And some people even claim that long after their death, their lifeless bodies glide on tirelessly. These are but stories, people say. Stories that feed the dreams of the children who live in the Amazon. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to be pronouncing it Amazon. Amazon, of course. And we've got our jaunty end music. Well, I'm not. I'm going to turn the music down so I can hear myself speak a little better. We'll watch the credits go by. Um, but I, I, I'm going to say I'm a little disappointed at how anticlimactic that was, really. Um, I kind of stumbled through a couple of semi puzzles I didn't quite understand the context for. And um, we did what we set out to do, which was apparently restore the white birds. Um, yeah. Here we go, we'll look at the game designers here. Three, three people. Um, Realization. Oh. So Emmanuel Dexet may have been the the chief amongst the game designers, and definitely uh, Benoit Socal's pencil had a, a good deal of influence on on how this looked. Yeah. So to to wrap things up for for Amazon, I would say I I, I quite enjoyed the experience. I think. Oh. Uh, look, Francois, Francois Schuiten, is that how you pronounce their name? Uh, did some illustrations as well, that's cool. Another noted um, Franco Belgian uh, Bon Dessiné creator. Um, yeah, so I, I really enjoyed the uh, environment design, the character design, um, obviously, all the, the um, hand drawn 2D art was, was really beautifully uh, rendered. I think the it's probably a good idea to have um, I, this, I think in 1999 this would have been a tricky thing to have rendered in a, um, a, a full 3D engine so the pre-rendered uh, screens kind of work well um, as a compromise which you get high level of detail in there. And, uh, and I also want to point out how good the, the sound design is. I think there's, it's quite, quite simple short loops, but I think they used it really effectively and they used the stereo, uh, stereophonic sound um, to good effect as well, to, to give a really good sense of atmosphere, the combination of the, um, the visual environment and the audio environment. I'm less sold on the uh, the game and narrative fusion I don't I don't think the story the game is trying to tell and the mechanics of the game really work together at all I think oh okay the game just quit that's fun I guess I'll keep talking for a second um, <laughs> I can't believe it just quit that's so 1999 um, for the most part, I did enjoy the puzzles of this game, especially in the early part of them. I think a lot of them made interior sense and were fairly intuitive. Um, there were definitely some rough moments there. I would bring the game up on using some of the bugbears of adventure game design. It, it did eventually just sort of seem to cover everything. So yeah, I mean, it had it had mazes. It had it had non puzzles, it had uh, pixel hunting. I also think the um, the reliance on mechanisms throughout as, as a means of getting puzzle gameplay into this story, I think that really undermines how much of this story is actually about people and natural environment. It's about social interaction, it's about organic interaction in, in so many ways um, that it just can't replicate um, through that through the medium of that gameplay um, but that said I think there's a I, I want to give it credit for the creativity with which it kind of masks um, masks that deficiency because it does find quite a few different ways to 
make those mechanical puzzles diegetic in the world in which it's telling its story. And for that, I'd like to give it a little bit of commendation. I think it does, I think it stretches credibility, certainly, but I think that is um, is something that doesn't break the the sense of an integrated world. And I think there are definitely problems with the game in terms of its treatment of what it wants to say about this this fictional South American country. I think it is implicitly critical of the nature and effect of colonial rule. I think it is also um, being critical of the nature of sort of neo neo colonial post colonial uh, revolutionary fervor that. I think it is is trying to make the connection there that those two things are repeating each other and um, interrupting perhaps a a level of knowledge and understanding within a a community and an environment that had existed in a productive state for a long time. So I think ultimately I think its heart is in the right place, but I think in the execution and the details, I think it it is letting itself down. It um, I think it relies too much on caricature and it can't help itself but exoticize the location and the people, uh, the traditions. It is yeah, very, still very much a product of uh, European uh, exoticization. Um, as it is, I would say Amazon is a reasonable, a reasonable showing as an adventure game for its mechanical design and a reasonable showing as a narrative. I think there are some really potent ideas and really potent imagery in there. I don't think they're used to their best effect, um, which overall leads to something of an underwhelming experience. But I am really interested to uh, find out more about Siberia now, knowing that it's set in the same fictional world and also knowing that it's um, it is different to Amazon, it is, is no longer a first person adventure, it's a third person and the, um, the character is kind of characterised, the, the player character is characterised and, and voiced and everything. I feel like that might just kind of tip this formula over into something that feels a bit less static. So if there's a, if there's a more characterised, more fluid uh, development of of the good things in this game. I'd, I'd be interested in that. So Siberia might be one for the future. Uh, but for now, I will see you again another time for something different. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Hello diehard viewers who have made it all the way to the end of the video. Uh, possibly uh, Amazon's biggest fans. Amazon's biggest fans. Um, well done, you've made it through 10 minutes of me waffling on about the game in general, or I've skipped ahead. But the reason we're here in front of this locked gate in the uh, the bowels of Puebla is because apparently there is a way to open this door, um, I'm, which I'm quite intrigued by because I don't know what could possibly be behind it as it doesn't have any effect on the rest of the game. But let's find out. So this statue, which I did hover over briefly uh, before, apparently I missed the, where the site where there should be a hand there. I can't tell if there is a hand or whether it's um, broken. But apparently that's where we can put the sword that we picked up down here. So let's tr try that. No? Hold on. There we go. Great, and now, and now, oh, now I need to, right, that didn't look very comfortable, um, right, here we go, gosh, okay, right, I automatically jumped through, this is, right, In interesting, um, so, I mean, I can't go to the darkness, but I can go towards these plants, where is this taking us, this is weird, I mean, I, I did kind of enjoy this uh, dungeon crawling type excursion before, but I can't. I can't imagine what this could possibly lead to. Another ladder. 
เวเวนเอ่อที่ฟุ้งพาวด์เดอะเชิร์ชเว้นที่ฟุ้งพาวด์เดอะเชิร์ชเว้นในทับนักล No, are we in the tabernacle? So now you can go through there. So that's a way of getting... Oh, um, why is that there though? Because there's no obstruction to me just walking through the village. I wonder if they planned... I wonder if they'd originally planned um, there to be something obstructive here? But the um, the guards just got drunk so how strange an optional extra route to do something that you could do with a few clicks anyway well there you go we've, uh, we've I'm feel reasonably confident with, with that we've now seen all the secrets about Amazon so thank you very much for joining me I'm gonna get into my aeroflot and fly back home and until we next meet again for another adventure take care bye bye